I'm Ryan Ketchum standing off of Langhorn Creek Street in the Southwest Valley in front of the now demolished home where a deadly fire happened last Thursday morning. While crews still have this property blocked off and are demolishing the still standing pieces of this home, neighbors have set up this growing memorial with flowers, teddy bears, candles and more to remember the four who died. Absolutely devastating. Donna Tift lives just three houses down from the fire ravaged home destroyed last Thursday morning. When I looked out, everything was chaos and all the vehicles and the people from that family, some of them are relatives or something were wailing in our front yard and falling to the ground. And that's when I realized, you know, what was happening. I can't imagine losing a whole family. A growing memorial is now in place across the street from the home, set up by those in the neighborhood. Dozens of cars and families have passed by to pay their respects and honor the lives lost. A Clark County spokesperson says 43-year-old Abdul Salam Adem, his two daughters, 6-year-old Aliyah and 7-year-old Anaya, and his brother, 48-year-old Ibrahim, all died in the fire. This is the GoFundMe page the family set up to help them through this loss. Darling little girls, you know, I can't imagine. Tift says she has gone through loss herself, losing her 52-year-old son to colon cancer just months ago. I mean, our situation is so fresh for one person, but to this, you know, blows me away. A woman and her son did escape the fire by jumping out of the third story window before the floors collapsed. But there are still several unknowns about the fire at this time. Clark County tells me the fire is still under investigation and that process could take more than a month. While a cause has yet to be revealed, Clark County Fire said last Thursday they were aware of witnesses reporting that they heard a possible explosion. We've heard the same, but the investigations continue. Once again, the cause of this fire is still under investigation, but Channel 13 saw ATF crews, which is the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, helping in the investigation last Thursday and a day after the fire last Friday. Reporting in the Southwest Valley, I'm Ryan Ketchum.